What's the deal with amazing? Why do you think you're so amazing then? Well, if I called myself the adequate Jonathan, I wouldn't sell very many tickets. <laughs> so, you know, or I saw how you did that, Jonathan. Um, no, amazing's good. Unless I'm making movies or something. You know, I just watched the show and I thought you were really tremendous because you don't take yourself too seriously and you kind of have a laugh at magic at the same time as doing it, which is nice, opposed to the uh, kind of over-the-top magicians that are here in Vegas. Yeah, well, that's because I make a lot of mistakes. And when I, <laughs> when I was a serious magician, I was uh, making a lot of mistakes. So I just call it comedy and you can't really go wrong when something goes haywire like my show does. What's more difficult, being funny or being magical? Um, I think that if you have magic skills, then being funny. It's hard to get somebody who has both, but I've done it, you see. There's only a few people who've done it. You know, Tommy Cooper, he did it. You know, it's the right blend. So you gotta find the right blend. You have that genius of just doing nothing but making people laugh. It's really subtle, your show. I love that about it. Thank you. Now, can I put my clothes on? Yeah, well, uh, you know, and pay me as well. That'd yeah, be nice. Yeah, well. It's more than the BBC are doing. You're going to have to do more than what you just did. <laughs> did you ever consider going the serious way and leaving the comedy out of it and doing a, a more Lance Burton, David Copperfield esque show? Yeah, I don't fit in any of those boxes, for one thing. You know, and then why well, is that then, Jonathan? Well, because I'm 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 the large Jonathan. <laughs> and see, when I run, when I disappear on stage and appear in the back of the theater, you hear huffing and puffing. It's just like it's not real cool. It's just not cool when I go. <gasps> I'm over here. You know, it's just not cool. Like Lance, he he can do the running still. You were talking in the show about the Comedy Central program that you're going to be yeah. doing later on. What's more difficult, doing a live show every night or recording a TV show? Because that's kind of more difficult, isn't it? Well, this was hard because they. I've done three other specials for the network and they said not to repeat any material. So I've already done all my material on the first three specials and they want to give me an hour now. When it's backwards, they're doing it backwards. They should have started me out at an hour. Then I would go to 20 minutes, then five. You know, Now they're using my material up and say, now we want to give you an hour. So I've had to scramble to come up. The show you saw tonight, we just put together three weeks ago. And uh, you know, I was scratching for some old material I used to do when I was a kid this didn't work anymore and you know it wasn't funny enough and uh, so we had to write some new stuff so we got two weeks left to go and we still need a great ending and but it, it's fun doing that you know being under the gun like that it's fun tell me about vegas and being here because i mean you tour all, tour all over the country and you do tv and you do film and all that kind of stuff how different is vegas because it's so over the top and crazy does it get on your nerves a bit no it doesn't i love it here but it's, it's a good place to live i mean they have suburbs that have lawns and trees and they're not real they're aluminum but they, they, they look nice um, they're hot as hell to touch though in the summer um, no Vegas is great I get to drive to work that's the main thing uh, when I was touring I was always on planes and with the condition of the airports now and security it's a pain in the butt and I'm right where I want to be I'm right where every entertainer wants to be right now off the road driving to a gig every night that's a good paying gig you know but uh, it's not for everybody. You gotta have a draw to be here. You know, it's expensive to, to get a showroom and do the advertising. Um, and it's rough because of, you know, the unions. Everybody seems to want to be here. A few years ago, it wasn't so cool. Now's the time really to be on top. If you get a show here, you've kind of made it. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. You know, when I, when I decided to put the Circus Soleil stuff in my show, the backflips, the, the giant tank of water, <laughs> that's when the people started coming out, you know. <laughs> I just saw Car tonight. I mean, and it is spectacular, and, and it kind of is the antidote to that, seeing these type of shows where it's just one man and his material and his ability to perform, because those shows are so spectacular and are great, but you're not really watching one performer. You're kind of a dying breed, really, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, when I do the splits, it's much funnier <laughs> than anything in Circus Soleil you'll ever see. Do you know what? I would pay $100 to see you do I'm the splits. I'm sure you would. And I'd pay you $100 to help me up after I do them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, the, the shows are great. The circus, that's the thing. They're, 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 they're not very original in Vegas. If one thing's a success, they've got four things that are, you know, they'll copy. There's four Circus Soleil's out here now. You know, it's like, there's other stuff out there, you know, that works, like the Blue Man Group. You know, that was a chancy thing to bring to Vegas. It worked. I was a chancy thing to bring to Vegas. It's not working, but if it was, that would <laughs> fit right in with my point. Is it hard to be funny now? Do people laugh as much as they used to? No, I think they laugh more than what they used to. I think the show's always getting better and better uh, as I get older and older. And I think when I'm 90, I'm going to be at the top of my game. 
you just won't be able to understand me because I won't have teeth. <laughs> Presumably, every show is different, isn't it? Yeah, every show is definitely different. And you can, if you're listening and you have a show and you want to make it different all the time, just don't rehearse. And that's that, that's the, <laughs> the little secret behind that one. You're you not know? really selling yourself as a consummate professional. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, you know, that would be funny if I was. You know, but uh, no, I'm not. We we if we rehearse something, it's not going to work. That's the way my show is. You know, it's it's all about improv and and the moment on stage you know it's, it's different all, every night for me that's why it's still fun to do every single night you know except for one Tuesdays and Wednesdays half the show sucks but uh, <laughs> second half is fun and then Thursday we have off and Friday's fun Saturday fun Sunday's it's, it's not fun either but yeah almost all, all the whole week yeah I don't mind going to work. I work an hour a day. How can you complain about that? Listen, congratulations on the show. And uh, you are amazing. And it is a rare uh, feat to see somebody who's funny and quick and able to react to people. And congratulations on that. And good luck with the uh, TV special. And uh, I hope to see you for many, many years here in Vegas. Thanks for talking to me. a rare feat. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for talking to us. All right.